understanding and making the most of the flipped classroom technique. Hopefully, and no doubt, you are all getting used to the flipped classroom technique by now. Your modules, whether they're 15, 20 or 30 credits, all require you to do some self-directed as well as teacher-directed learning over and above your contact hours with the teachers. This is really important to understand. A 15 credit module, for example, means that you're required to do 150 hours of learning time. 20 credits equal 200 hours and so on, because one academic credit is worth uh, 10 hours of learning. So that means you get the chance to do loads of extra working around your formal teaching input for each and every module. So for this particular session, I will be with you either in a physical classroom or in our virtual classrooms online and will be using this flip classroom technique with you. So I give you these learning resources, say a week or so before our scheduled meeting date, and then when we actually do meet up, rather than me, pre me represent all of this in a, a lecture format, we can spend the time working more beneficially for yourselves by doing this as a seminar or workshop contribution. So here's wishing you every success as you work through this resource. Remember to take plenty of notes, either um, key points that you've actually learned from this or questions you may have, reflections, challenges that you have for me, whatever. Keep all of that and then when we meet together online or in class, that's when we can present all of that as part of your workshop learning. Also feel free to tweet me or to share learning with your colleagues um, online in Moodle. Thanks a lot.